This video will show you how to restore a virtual machine instantly, which involves the following steps. Start by logging into the backup application. Provide the username and password of the backup account. Then click OK to log in. Once we are in the main interface, click Restore. Then select the corresponding VMware backup set and the backup destination that the data are stored at. In this next menu, you can select the virtual machine or individual disk that you would like to restore. You can also view the snapshots available for restore by clicking here. For this demo, we will select the VM named WinXP Pro for restore. In the Restore Destination menu, choose to restore the virtual machine to its original location, or to an alternate location here. Note that the Run Direct and Auto Migrate checkboxes are both enabled by default. With the Run Direct option enabled, the restore process will first mount the backup destination as a NAS data store on the VMware host. The VM will then be run directly from the backup data until it is moved back to its original data store. The Auto Migrate option when enabled, will automatically migrate the Run Direct VM to its original data store automatically. To auto power on the VM during the restore, enable the Auto Power On checkbox. And finally, to improve the performance of the restored VM before it is migrated back to its original data store, enable the Use Existing Storage as Working Directory checkbox. Click Next to continue. Modify the temporary directory if necessary, then click Restore to start the restore process. During the restore, we can see from the vSphere client connect to the VMware host that the NAS data store is created, and the virtual machine is registered and created almost instantly. Check back on the backup client application. The restore job is still running. At the same time, the virtual machine Win XP Pro is already power on automatically. And again taking a look at the backup application. The process is now migrating the VM to its original data store. While the virtual machine is being migrated, the VM is actually fully operational, as you can see here. Finally, we will just let the migration process run to completion. As you can see in this demo, the virtual machine was restored. Startup and fully operational within minutes after we started the restore. The virtual machine is now restored successfully, which will conclude this demo. We hope you have enjoyed this video.